question for you would be, what types of individuals would you appoint? And as you answer that, explain to the group your overarching judicial philosophy as you appoint them. Well, first of all, uh, I actually have appointed a few judges when I was the governor, and uh, most of the judges, almost all the judges are elected in Virginia by the General Assembly, by the legislature. But I actually appointed a few judges. The answer to the question is that I'm a University of Virginia trained lawyer. I understand what the Constitution is all about and why we have to stick with it. The real challenge we're seeing today is the, the, the collapse of the, of, of the Supreme Court. In major policy areas, the people of the United States have lost confidence in the Supreme Court because now they think it's all politics. It just depends on whether you win the presidency and you're a conservative or whether you win the presidency and you're a liberal. And so now we're either going to appoint liberal Supreme Court justices or conservative Supreme Court justices. And therefore, the system of the law appears to be rigged. And everybody kind of thinks that now. People have lost faith in the Supreme Court. What I would like to do is to restore some faith in the Supreme Court. So the direct answer to your question is, if I become the president, I'm, I'm not going to be looking for litmus test people. What I'm going to be looking for is for people who will obey the law, will understand the Constitution, will understand the historic background of the Constitution, and why, for example, I'm a Second Amendment gun, you know, a gun advocate, because I understand the history of the United States and why that's built into the Constitution. And uh, I want somebody who's going to understand legal precedent and follow legal precedent. And if you're going to break away from legal precedent, then you ought to have an analytical, solid policy or legal reason for being able to do so. In other words, let's bring some prof professionalism back into the Supreme Court of the United States. I am a conservative. I'm going to want to understand when I talk to people whether or not they're going to say, okay, now I'm going to get to be on the Supreme Court. I'm kind of the guy that ended up in one of the most powerful political offices of the country, and now I can remake all of society in my own image. I don't want that person. I don't want that person. I don't want somebody that's going to force a policy change down the throat of the American people because of the unlimited power of the Supreme Court in order to issue cases to guide people and make them do things. If they're going to issue these kinds of rulings, there ought to be a genuine interpretation of the law and it ought to be one based upon sound intellectual and legal analysis, justification legally. If you can't get there, they ought not to go there. And to put some liberal, extreme liberal, which would be worse, but to put an extreme conservative on the bench would be continuing to undermine the law in this country. So that's the way I'm going to head if I uh, get an opportunity to appoint these people to the Supreme Court. I'm going to try to actually restore people's faith in the law. You, you said that the, you would not have a litmus test, but are there any questions, specific questions that you want to ask your uh, potential appointees to the court? No, not in terms of asking them for an outcome of a particular line of cases or a line of thinking about where a case might go. I wouldn't do that. But I, I want to return to this point, General, because it's the central one. I'm going to try to find out whether the person says, okay, I haven't had the discipline or the courage or the guts to run for office and subject myself to the democracy. But because I'm a lawyer and I play backroom politics, I'm going to get to be a judge. I'm going to get to be the judge. And now I'm going to have a chance to make all the rest of America run their businesses, their lives, their religion, their value, and everything else by my standards. That's the kind of person I'm going to be looking for so that I can not appoint them to the Supreme Court of the United States.